special school is a P-12 campus supporting students that have a severe intellectual impairment in their learning. So our focus is on how do we provide them with the skills to be as independent as possible and putting them on a pathway to success post school. So when the school was in the building phase, um, a gentleman by the name of Pat reached out to me and said he'd like to get together and have a conversation about how he could be involved in the school. So we made a connection and he talked about his presidency role within Coomba Rivers Rotary Club. And since then we formed a very strong relationship with the local club. They've shown an amazing amount of interest in our school with a genuine want to support our kids to succeed. So one of the things through those conversations that has arisen is a pledge to purchase two school buses. So that is an incredible thing for our students. What that means is that we can be very visible in our local community. We can provide them with work experience opportunities. They can do learning, community-based instruction in our local community with something that's meaningful. And it's also about us being present within the local community. When our students do leave post-school, we want them to be successful. And part of that is educating our local community on how we can talk to them, how we can interact with them, and how we can support them to be as successful as possible. So yes, the bus is about providing opportunities for our students, but it's also about providing opportunities for our local community as well. The Rotary Club of Coomera River um, was established about 16 years ago. Um, I have been president for the last 12 months and part of our, our operation involves not only international projects, but local projects. Coomera State Special School sort of has a special meaning to me personally, uh, given my nephew, um, he basically, he had to attend a school in, uh, mainstream school in Victoria, um, and that was proving very, very challenging for him. So the opportunity came for him to, as he got that little bit older, to go to a state special school in Victoria. And from that, he was able to um, actually come ahead leaps and bounds, and it's amazing the difference it's made in his life. Um, he is fascinated by cooking, like his grandmother, and um, from that point, he said, well, I really want to be a chef, I want, really want to be a chef. And he starts actually work placement, I think it's next year, um, at, the, at an aged care facility where his grandmother also works in the kitchen. So his, the school has been instrumental in helping him achieve that goal. So Coomera River uh, Rotary Club, the, the, our idea is to get involved with local organisations and see what ways we can help them out. So what, what we're looking for now is for more community collaboration with the Coomera River Rotary Club. What we are hoping for is some corporates to jump on board where they can, you know, whether it be through donating funds for us to auction off or of course monetary donations, they're all much appreciated. Um, we have a target of $180,000 to raise um, and we're hoping to achieve at least half of it by the end of this financial year, um, so as we can place the order for the first bus. So it's interesting, when you pose the question to the kids, what is a bus going to mean for you? Let's go find out. This is Pat. Pat. So Pat is a very oh, important businessman in the local Coomera community. <laughs> and he also has a very special job as president of Rotary Club for Coomera River. Oh. Coomera River Rotary and Pat first heard about the fact that our school was going to come to Coomera. Pat reached out to me and we met for breakfast That's and he had a big chat about our school and I learned a lot about Pat, he learned a lot about me and what this school's going to be. And he decided at that moment that he wanted to be a part of our school because he thought it was going to be something pretty special. Is it something pretty special? Yeah, it's a school yeah. awesome, I love it. It is pretty awesome, isn't it? Yeah. So, you're not going to believe this. Like, this is amazing. Yeah. So Coomera River Rotary have made a commitment or a pledge to raise money to buy us, not one, two school buses. For here. For here. Oh, that's cool. I don't know. What do you think about that? Awesome. Yeah, yeah awesome. that's pretty that's awesome. awesome. Amazing, yeah. <laughs> so Pat just told me that they're nearly halfway and by halfway, 
means that they might be able to buy us one bus very, very soon. Exactly, no, nice, <laughs> nice. How would we use a school bus at school? It would be really awesome to have a bus to go on a school camp. I want to go to a history museum about more history. Go to the store or buy some food or something. Fantastic. But yeah. It's easy to travel more and uh, you know experience the outside world and stuff like that. And um, if we wanted to go and do some work experience yeah. in the local community, like where are some places you might like to do some work experience? Jordy? Um, EB Games. EB Games. <laughs> Remy, where would you like to? Oh, warehousing in Africa. Oh, warehousing in Yeah, I would like to do work experience in Universal Store. Show the people like show the people around the places and that. They got some good outfits and good 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 brand and good clothing and then there and yeah and shoes and that. Yeah, I think in wars like sucking shells at night. Um uh, I want to go on the bus for Westfield. Some grocery shopping. Going to Westfield. What what do we do at Westfield? We're going to get cooking ingredients. Just shopping in the So Kuma Westfield is another place that we do our learning in. Yeah. Is that what you say? Yeah, Miss Miss Organized. I reckon it'd be awesome to have a school bus. Thank, Thank you. you Thank you. 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 So I imagine we could probably go swimming, take you guys actually to the pool and get out of our chair room. You like to swim as well, don't you? Especially if the bus would be fit with a chair lift. Yeah. So, That'd be great for you, Ruby. We, we are slowly getting there, um, but COVID has been a little bit of an interruption to us all, as it has in many other people's lives. And we know asking people for money at the moment is a bit, bit tough. But even if you can come down to one of our barbecues that we have, uh, the Rotary Club has, um, whether it be at Bunnings, Pimpermar, or one of the other ones, um, we, we do them down at Jacob's Well. And of course, the twilight evening at the school um, will be operating a barbecue there. And, you know, it doesn't have to be a big donation. Um, every little bit helps, but we do need a, a, a lot of money to uh, get this target, to reach this target. We're halfway there, almost halfway there. So, um, yes. So, look, if you want to get involved, we'd really love you to. Um, and what you can do is you can uh, call me direct, you can call my mobile number, which is 0407 641012, or contact the school and um, they'll pass on my details. And um, they'd be more than happy to pass on your details. But yeah, look, if you own a business, big or small, every little bit counts. So we'd love your contribution as we welcome the Coomera State Special School to the community and uh, they're a vital part of the community and uh, we, we can see that with their enrolment uh, data already. It's um, a lot bigger than anyone planned so that says a lot about the, uh, the school itself and honestly if you meet the staff um, you, you'll see why they actually care about their students and as much as we do but these are the people who are at the uh, the forefront of the, um, the school and um, to Kate and her team, um, well done and we could not be happier than what we are to be involved with the Coomera State Special School um, and my role as the president of the Coomera River Rotary Club, it's insignificant compared to what these, these people do here. So when we were talking about within our team what we wanted to create here at Coomera State Special School, it's a unique community. It's being part of our local community and enabling our students to succeed within our local community. So our motto of Together We Can Achieve was a very deliberate decision about providing opportunities for within and external to our school, a community that can support our students. So when Coomer River Rotary reached out to us and wanted to be a part of our school and then pledged this project, it's an amazing example of how Together We Can Achieve. If I went off and tried to to get sponsorship for a bus on my own. I wouldn't be anywhere near as successful as a team of people working together to create what we are trying to create for our students. So if you're really keen to get involved and you wanna know more about the project or more about the school, 
Don't hesitate to contact us here at school or reach out to Coomer River Rotary. Pat and any of the team there would be more than happy to talk about their club and also the way that they are getting involved with the school and more importantly, how you could be a part of this bus project.